Hello, welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your September Twin Flame Soulmate readings. Um, not sure if I'll be doing an extended on these because I'm trying to really get these done before September comes in. So they may not be an extended. If you are Patreons, I have something in store for you guys um, next week. So just stay tuned. But for the Twin Flame Soulmate for September readings, I want to try to hurry up and get these done. So there will probably be no extended on these. But let me just also say this. I want to clarify to you all what a soulmate is, okay? We know that all twin flames are soulmates, but all soulmates are not twin flames. Twin flames is a special relationship of a union that is on a mission, a mission to move the, the, the collective forward in a very positive manner, okay? A soulmate is a relationship that could be any relationship that you learn a lesson from. So keep that in mind. Anybody that you're in a relationship with and you're learning a type of lesson from them or, or one of you is needing to really um, learn a lesson or being challenged in doing that, that's what a soulmate is. So this could reflect on any relationship today that is platonic or romantic. So always keep that in mind. You all, and I always say again, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and support you continue to give our channel. Now, this reading today, you can apply it to your uh, your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus signs. And hello to our cross watchers. I always like to speak to them. <laughs> you guys, uh, follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Hit that little bell, and every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Um, I, again, I just thank you for the love and support that you continue to give to the channel. Um, I think that is all I need to say. Oh, we do private readings as well. So if you want to have a private reading after this, um, that link can be found below. And don't forget to join our Patreon. And um, we are ready to get started. Now, on to our reading. Hello, my Geminis. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. And first, I want to state that there's no time limit on this reading, okay? So it could have happened three months ago. It could be something that's happening today. Or maybe coming in the near future, okay? So we're going to check in now with the souls of those involved. See what comes up for you, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, the messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini as it relates to the twin flame soulmate relationship for September 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of wow? All right, what messages need to go wow? I think that's the biggest explosion I had today. Uh, with the soul cards. Okay, let's see. Acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. All right, so is that what you're working on? You're trying to accept the things that you cannot change. Just accept. This other person here, love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So this person is trying to understand how to love more. In self-esteem, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So they're working on love and self-esteem. And this person is working on trying to accept whatever is going on here. So this person is working on acceptance. This person is trying to build their self-esteem. Work on loving more. All right, let's just see what's coming out of this. Very interesting. The Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini as it relates to the Twin Flame Soulmate Relationship for September 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini? Alright, two and two. Start with these two first. 
I feel damaged like I just can't do this. Wow. Oh, my goodness. So somebody feels damaged like they just can't do this, like somebody's taking advantage of them. Would you reject me? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This person's having a really hard time. I feel damaged like I just can't do this. And they're worried about a rejection. Somebody rejected them. This person working on their love and self-esteem. I can still feel you. So they're, they're feeling this person over here. Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down. And that's not always easy to deal with. So you're reminding them. This person's reminding this person of things that they know they need to deal with. But clearly they're just not ready to deal with it yet. Clearly they're just not ready to deal with it yet. Wow. Very profound. Very profound. All right, let's go a little further into this and try to pull some layers off in this situation. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what message is needed before for the sign of Gemini as it relates to the twin flame soulmate relationship for September 2020. And I literally just saw the tower call. Something possibly is coming to an end. Messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini. Yep, somebody's wanting their freedom here. Possible deception. Just saying that. Six of Pentacles a lot. All right, so let's see here. Let me get those up here because we'll be clarifying real soon. All right, so let's see if we see any angel numbers, and we do. We see the 66 six here, so make sure you look up 666. Six, six. Um, that could be coming through for you. Um, hmm. Could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Gemini, you've shown up in your own reading, so here you are right here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So all signs are represented here, but there's an extra emphasis on you, Gemini, and fire. Okay. Uh, Ace of Wands. This is having the inspiration, um, having the motivation um, to really, having the urge to really do something in a situation. Okay. And it could be in reference to this love relationship here, okay? Um, for some of you, this is directly relation to um, a relationship that uh, is is very is a it. It's a lot of deep love here. It's a lot of deep love here, and you're scared about rejection. Um, but this King of Cups is looking away. If you notice, the King of Cups is looking away from this love relationship. And this, the King of Cups is an energy that is um, very supportive, very tolerant, um, very empathetic, you know, to someone. Um, very compassionate and, you know, in control. Um, very balanced behavior. and But they're looking away from this couple here. Okay, there's a reason that they're looking away because they don't feel as though that there's an equal give and take in this relationship. Um, they don't feel as though it's an equal give and take here. Okay, um, and it's deep love. Somebody really has a deep love for this person, but it's not. It's not equal. It's not equal, and possibly because there's been some deception. Okay, so this card, the Seven of Swords in reverse, could represent deception. It could represent someone coming clean about something um coming clean about a situation uh, could mean that somebody's rethinking something rethinking their approach in something okay and your overarching energy is the page of wands so this is wanting freedom this is really wanting to um explore uh with this page of wands here this is really wanting to you know move about without any constraints um this is you know just again freedom exploration just wanting to see the world but don't want to be confined to anyone or anything 
Okay, let's clarify a little bit here to see what's uh, going on. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, the God, Creator of the Universe, please clarify the lovers for Gemini. Please clarify the lovers for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know about the lovers? Please clarify the lovers for Gemini, which is Gemini's heart. Please clarify Gemini for Gemini. In the Gemini, the lovers is being clarified by the Empress and the chariot in reverse. Some, so somebody's not taking action. Somebody is really in their power. The Empress is an energy that is really, a, you know, it's a, about abundance. It's about, you know, fertility. Somebody could be pregnant, um, but this could also represent something involving parenting um, as well. That is um, directly affected this this love relationship here, but somebody is not taking action, or something has like slowed all the way down um, with this chariot in reverse. This is having a lack of control. This is having a lack of um, you know not really knowing what direction you need to go in into um, with this, and it could and again with this empress here, it could be refer referencing um, parenting for some of you. Could be done with a Taurus or a Libra or Cancer here. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, see, somebody's being taken advantage of. Somebody's definitely being taken advantage of. I don't know why I keep feeling like with this Empress here is in reference to some type of ch children, parenting, something like that. Um, this is somebody being naive to a situation or to somebody being very naive and allowing them to take advantage of you. Okay, please clarify the Six of Pentacles. What is not equal here? What's not an equal give or take here? What is somebody being taken advantage of with the Six of Pentacles? Okay, this is about giving to someone or somebody that has abundance. What does Gemini need to know about the Six of Pentacles? Seven of Cups. So the Six of Pentacles is being clarified by the Seven of Cups, which means this is too many options. This somebody has too many choices, and they're not really caring about choosing you, okay? Um, because it's not, it's not fair. It's not an equal give or take. And so they're kind of choosing all these other options. It's like somebody not paying for, not giving you money that you deserve and giving it to everybody else that doesn't deserve it because they have too many options up here and they're not really thinking about you. It's not an equal give or take. It's not a fairness there. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Seven of Cups, Bottom of the Deck, Ten of Wands. Yeah, overwhelmed, burdened by this, this situation here. You know, overly stressed of the situation. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Energy, because you know it's not fair. Please clarify the Seven of Swords. In reverse for Gemini. Please clarify the seven of swords in reverse for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know about the seven of swords in reverse? Please clarify the seven of swords. Wow, for Gemini. Okay, seven of swords is being clarified by the three of wands. And so somebody again is ready to explore. Somebody's ready. Somebody's seeing now that. You know, they're rethinking their approach. They're coming clean with something, or this could be deception. But somebody is realizing that I need to move on beyond this. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, energy. Um, six of Pentacles again. See, not an equal give or take. You got the Six of Pentacles like literally twice here in the upright. It's not fair. It's not fair. And somebody's realizing that, and that's why they're coming clean, or somebody's still being deceptive with this. Um, or they're rethinking that they're not going to allow somebody to take advantage of them anymore. You've got the seven of wands here where you're, you're, you're defending yourself now. You're maintaining control of this stance that you're in because you know it's not fair. And the emperor, you got the emperor and the empress here. So it's, it's really about being in control. This could be a, a power couple here with the emperor and empress. This really could be something that is, is very soul-driven, soul-connected. Um, with both of these people showing up in the upright. Uh, but it's time for you to take control of this situation. Or it could be just the behaviors of the emperor and the empress, how you really need to take control. Could be a mother and a father situation here, a parenting situation like I talked about earlier. 
uh, with the mother and the father here and need, needing to exhibit these behaviors of this parenting, of these parents. Uh, seven of Pentacles in reverse. With the Seven of Pentacles, um, oh God, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You got Earth energy here, a Taurus, Virgo, uh, Capricorn. But this is putting in work without you know, results. You work so much probably on these relationships and you don't see any results coming from it. Um, you could be distracted, could be just seeing, you know, a lack of, you know, all the energy and time that you put into a situation and you, you don't see anything coming from it. Wow. So somebody's going, somebody has decisions that they need to make, but I don't know why I keep, I keep like, these are parents. These are parents. And, uh, I feel like there's a Somebody's just being taken advantage of here, clearly. If you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.